Welcome back. Now you're in my kitchen. So, some cooking here. I have this eggplant that I'm just taking the last pieces of the peel off by standing it up and cutting it. Then we're going to do, we're going through the steps that is called preparation. There are four steps that you need to remember in cooking, and if you go through these four steps, you're gonna love cooking and make it simple. Organization, preparation, production, and then, then it comes the enjoyment of your creation. We always think about that last fourth step, but we never think about the other ones. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dye some of these eggplants that are gonna be the sponge, that are gonna absorb a lot of these flavors. Butternut squash is gonna be another ingredient, which we're gonna get to very soon, and look at this. I am cutting these in sticks, and then turning the whole thing, lining them up, now dicing them. Tip of the knife down and roll your hand. Roll your hand, and then you have nice diced eggplants here, okay? We're gonna get to the butternut squash in a moment. One more thing, we're gonna create some yum-yums in this pan, why? Because everything is gonna be this, done in this pan for our pasta sauce. Hot pan, cold oil, you're going to see some smoke here, don't worry, I got a extinguisher. And what we're going to do now, we're going to take our chicken, and we're gonna put it in here. We are pan sauteing the, look at this, the chicken doesn't stick, we are pan sauteing, that means what? That means the ingredient is going to be jumping. Saute comes from the verb a saute in French. We're gonna move this around a little bit and not much. Dash of sea salt, so while the pores of the chicken is opening up, we're going to be able to season it. Look, the chicken is kind of rare, it's raw. That's it, guys, we're going away. We're gonna put the chicken in this pan now. Many of you are gonna say, what? Chef Eker has gone crazy, he's gonna serve me some raw chicken? No, 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 no. What we're gonna do, we're gonna bring this pan back here, and now we're gonna infuse the flavors and create the foundation of the sauce. Onions that have been diced. Notice something here, ladies and gentlemen, all of my ingredients are diced. Why is that? It's because what we're gonna do here, we're gonna serve this with one of those pastas that we love, it's called rigatoni. Rigatoni is basically a tube pasta, and the reason that you have all your ingredients diced is because you want these diced ingredients go within the pasta, so with every bite, the sauce, the flavor, and the burst of flavor from the ingredients involved. A little bit of sea salt help right here, and that is to pull out the water content of the onion. Next, some carrots. These two are nature's sugar right here, like Il Mito's at the restaurant when I make tomato sauce. These two, carrots and onion, are our sweetener when we make our tomato sauce. A little bit of white pepper, which is, again, what? The seed of the peppercorn with the black skin removed, and the inner core is white. You see this on foxesnow.com or fickerskitchen.com on our spice episode that I talk about. Next, let this baby do its thing. I'm gonna go back here and start doing my butternut squash. When we come back, I'm gonna put this whole thing together, create the sauce, toss the pasta, and drool responsibly while you're at home, okay? 